Our entrance antiphon this morning, Upon a lofty throne I saw a man seated, whom a host of angels adore, singing in unison, Behold him, the name of whose empire is eternal. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. The special intention for this Mass is for Dan and Nancy Zotti. And with that in mind, let us acknowledge our sin and so prepare ourselves for these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to you everlasting life. Let us pray. Attend to the pleas of your people with heavenly care, O Lord, we pray, that they may see what must be done and gain strength to do what they have seen. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the beginning of the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, in times past, God spoke in partial and various ways to our ancestors through the prophets. In these last days, he spoke to us through the Son, whom he made heir of all things and through whom he created the universe, who is the repulsions of his glory the very imprint of his being, and who sustains all things by his mighty word. When he had accomplished purification from sins, he took his seat at the right hand of the majesty on high, as far superior to the angels, as the name he has inherited is more excellent than theirs. For to which of the angels did God ever say, you are my son, this day I have begotten you. Or again, I will be a father to him, and he shall be a son to me. And again, when he leads the firstborn into the world, he says, let all the angels of God worship him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm, let all his angels worship him. The Lord is king, let the earth rejoice. Let the many isles be glad. Justice and judgment are the foundation of his throne. Let all his angels worship him. The heavens proclaim his justice, and all people see his glory. Let all his angels worship him. Because you, O Lord, are the most high over all the earth, Exalted far above all gods, let all. Ah, hallelujah! Ah, hallelujah! Ah, hallelujah! Ah, hallelujah! The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Ah, hallelujah! The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. After John had been arrested, Jesus came to Galilee proclaiming the Gospels of God. This is the time of fulfillment. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the Gospel. As he passed by the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting their net into the sea. They were fishermen. Jesus said to them, Come after me, and I will make you fishers of men. 
Then they left their net and followed him. He walked along a little farther and saw James, the son of GVD, and his brother John. They too were in the boat mending their net. Then he called them. So they left their father, GBD, in the boat, along with the higher man, and follow him. The Gospel of the Lord. As we see in here, Simon and his brother Andrew, um, James and John, his brother, put uh, left everything behind and followed Jesus. They did not know what's going on in the future. They did not know that they sh how much they struck, uh, how much they had to face, how much, how many struggles that they had to face when they have to follow Jesus and continue to shadow him in his mission. But they leave, they left everything behind, continue to go. That was a time they, they, when they did not understand whatever Jesus taught. That was a time when they just about to give up. There was a time when some of them just wanted to reject him and deny him. But then they continued to go. They put everything behind and keep moving because they believed that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. In our daily life, there are many things happened to struggle us and many barriers in life just want to stop us when we want to follow Jesus. Will we learn from these disciples so that no matter what happened, we still follow him because we do also believe he is the way, the truth, and the life. Please stand. As Jesus invites us to follow him, we turn our hearts and minds to the Father and present our petition before him. For those in the church entrust us with the spiritual care of others, may God grant them wisdom and compassion. Let us pray to the Lord. For world leaders, may God continue to contact, to convert their hearts to the beauty of peace and justice for all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for those who are suffering, suffering in mind, body, and sp or spirit, may the loving hand of Jesus provide consolation, even amidst continuing hardship. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for this community of faith, may God grace help us as we respond to God's call to participate in building the kingdom of God on earth, let us pray to the Lord. For those, those who have died in the light of faith, may the mercy of our loving Father usher them into the fullness of eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. And for the special intention that we silently give in our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Lord. Loving God, thank you for listening to our prayers as you do each day. Hear and answer them according to your holy will. We ask through Christ Jesus our Lord. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruits of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the breath of life. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruits of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink.
pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May your people's oppression, O Lord, find favor with you, we pray, that it may restore them to holiness and obtain what they devoutly entreat through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Live up your heart. Like give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, His death we celebrate in love, His resurrection we confess with living faith, and His coming in glory we awake with reverent hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who come in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending out your spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the shower and once more giving thanks. He gave us two disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the breath of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks if you have found us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Homely we pray, a partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Calvin, Timothy, Titan, our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face, and mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with bless Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostle, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be called as to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior command and formed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as well await the pastor's hope at the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who say to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. 
peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the words of my soul shall be healed. Dear Jesus, come into my heart and be with me today. The communion antiphon, with you, O Lord, is the fountain of life, and in your light we see light.
let us pray. Humbly we ask you, Almighty God, be graciously pleased to grant that those you renew with your sacrament may also serve with life ple pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the guiltlessness and snare of the devil. May God rebuke him with humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, trust into hell Satan and all the evil spirit who prowls about the world seeking the roots of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Must stand it, let us go in peace. A prayer of strength and protection for priests and religious. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. You are too young. We are holy, we are strong. Purity and love and faith. Proclaiming Christ today. Be holy, the Lord be glorified. Be holy, cry the gospel with your life. Standing at the gateway of our faith. On the rock of Peter and the saints. With, with the Holy Spirit, Spirit showing us the way. Holy and cry the gospel, cry the gospel in your life. Oh, 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 Lord, we come to do your will. Yes, Lord, we come to do your will. Not only in our words. We are too young, we are holy, we are strong, purity and love and faith, we Christ today, be holy, the Lord be glorified, be holy, try the gospel with your life, standing at the gateway of our faith, on the rock of Peter and the saints, with the Holy Spirit showing us the way.
blessing of the Father and the Son, and may the Spirit.